Hello boys, this is going to be a pretty sick video. I have four pods, the LED Tough RGB pods. The standard Walmart AutoZone special, you know, these bad boys with the box, the remote, the color changing, you know the vibe. So today we're going to put it on the taco. I picked probably the worst day to do it because I was just fucking around in the snow and my shit's, as you can see, covered. So I might run to the car wash quick rinse everything off then do it just because there's gonna be so much shit underneath this thing like it's gonna suck trying to wire it up so yeah well basically I'll catch you guys after this is cleaned up I mean it's pretty simple I'm gonna I guess unbox all this and show you what's coming in it and then we'll uh, get to throwing it all on the truck it's a pretty simple install I'll show you there's a few different ways you can do the wiring for the power because the wire for the power is just your standard red and black wire me because I'm a retard and there's a remote that comes with this I am just gonna literally wrap the power around the positive on my battery and then ground the black somewhere else and that's gonna be it and I'll just turn them on and off with my remote some people will do it differently but yeah that's what I'm doing so let's get to it I'll show you what's in the box alright boys so this is what you're gonna get is you know your standard pretty basic shit I mean this kits super simple comes with directions comes with these are your four rubber mounts that mount in your fenders before you put the lights on these lights mount on these pretty simple they just sit right in there they got spots for the wires to run right through super simple stuff all the pod lights come pre-hooked up to your power box this is the control box I guess more so than a power box and you know I showed you these your red and black for power pretty simple stuff comes with hardware all of it comes with a 3M velcro piece here to stick your box in your engine bay the janky little remote and of course it, it actually comes with zip ties because zip tie the world save them all but I mean look at the look at the directions look at how look at how simple this is as you can see the lights sit right in the rubber uh, little caps there right in the wheel well right in the engine bay so there's four four of them two of them have the same length and two of them are different lengths so you got a 9.8 foot and a 9.8 foot, and then you've got a 16 and a half and a 16 and a half. So, you know, obviously two are for the back, two are for the front. Go figure. Use your brain, you know. Someone just spam called me three times, so I'm about to find out who it is. Give me a sec. But, yeah, let's get to the install, guys. All right, boys. So I got them hooked up. I like to always start out by hooking them up to power just to see, uh, you know, Make sure everything works right how it's supposed to. The Velcro didn't really work with that, so I might just duct tape that box to my fuse box and call it a day. Don't judge me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something with it right now, and it's pissed me off, and it's cold out. So, yeah. But I just wrapped my freaking power and negatives there and there, and that's it, dude. Look. Bow -bow. I think there's a cool little strobe feature on here. It was strobing like crazy, but I, uh, there's color changing. I mean, they're decent, not bad, can't complain really. I really wish I knew how to make it for, oh there it is. Strobe action, you already know bro, give someone a seizure like myself, but yeah, alright, so basically I'm going to throw these all on how they're supposed to go and show you guys when we are done because... I don't know. It's pretty simple. That's it. It's really just a matter of how you want to run them and whatnot. Right now, <coughs> right now I'm about to install these. My location I'm going with is going to be, let me use the rock light as a light, like right there. Oh, probably stick it right here, like beam type shit for the front, and we'll see in the back. It'll be different for everyone's. Besides, I don't even have wheel wells right now, so as you can see, mine's a little easier than yours. So yeah, let's get to it. The rock lights are done, boys. It is daytime, so, you know, we expect. I'll give you guys a clip at night just to show you the quality on them. But they're really not bad. They look like some pretty high-quality stuff for the price. So we'll see how it looks in the end. But, yeah. Catch you later in the next one.